right, the challenge is in front of you. Do you accept it? I hope so. Keep the game on. Play the challenge. It's solo challenge, Madden Ultimate Team. and run 61 yards before every game the receivers envision themselves making big plays catches long runs well it just happened there but sometimes when you look at the big board and you slow your feet down keep running that's why it was caught and Hauschka's kick is good and that gets him back within a single point it's now 10 to 9 so he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. Not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though this offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. That's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Murray, the lone setback. And he'll get it up the middle. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now, hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Take it at the 42. 12 yards on the return that time. And possession will change here with very little time remaining until halftime. Brady now on first down. This is Miller, complete. And he goes down before getting this inside the 25. They'll get 23 yards there. And it'll be a Chicago first down. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hand. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. We have hit halftime. Geez, Larry, I wanted to hear the report. Somebody's in a hurry, so we're going to get him right to quarter number three. Now Jones. The Raider defense now. Here they are as they get ready to trot back onto the field. They look good in the first half. They'll be looking to carry that momentum over into half number two. Finish a game the way you started it. That's typically the message at halftime when things are going well. You've done everything you're expected to do. How about a little bit more of that in the second half? But be aware, they may throw something different at you to begin things. Yeah, 50% of the equation still left to go. And the play clock's running down. Snap comes at one, and it's Brady. Complete to the right side. It's Eifert. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. He had time, was able to survey the field and find a soft spot in that zone coverage. And that's where it gets difficult for a defender, Brandon. You go to your spots in the, on the field that you have to cover, and when the offense finds an area that you're not in, that's where they throw the football. And break, the tight end's got it. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. 
And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. These guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Give them 11 on the game there. And that leads to a Chicago first down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. They're running now out of the gun. Looking for a seam, but finding none. They'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That was a really nice play. We're able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free, and make the hit on the run. He filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a run-yard game. This is Elliott. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to run out and tackle him. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Now that was a big-time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let them get anywhere near it. And Hauschka's kick is good. And they take the lead here back now in the East Bay. Where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Now Carr throwing on second down. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from Harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. Surveying the field. Throw left side to the tight end, Walford. They get 13, but it's not nearly enough. And it'll be fourth down. Pardon, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there. Kind of played into their hands. This is taken at the 18. A uh, very good return that time. 18 yards. And marching back out there now, the Raiders defense gets ready. And yeah, three points surrendered on the last drive against them. They bent a little bit, but they didn't break. I like that. And that's not always wrong. Well. We run into a lot of coordinators that talk about, well, if I give up three points, my whole day's ruined. <laughs> Actually, it's not. <laughs> Just giving up field goals usually gives your team a chance to win if you're playing good defense. <laughs> yeah, especially in the National Football League. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. He has to give big-time credit to the cornerback on that play. Most of them like to just sit back and say, I'm playing pass. But he diagnosed that play so fast and got into the backfield for a loss of yardage. That's a monster play by the corner. Time running out here on the play clock. Throwing is Brady on third down. The catch made by Miller. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. So he makes the grab and the chains move forward. Nice job by the offensive line giving them time to complete that first down pass. Time for a break. So it's our visitors with a football as we get your reset. 
They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. Now, Whistles and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Again, it's Elliott. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. They'll run it now out of the gun. And past the 30, down to about the 27. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. And here comes play number six on this drive. A 20th carry here for Atlanta. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Well, there they went blitz defensively, Charles, and things were paved well coming from the linebacker position. I love the way that you described it, paved well. Oftentimes, the guy who gets home on the blitz, he's going to get all the credit, but his teammates did all the dirty work, right? They ran into people on purpose. They sometimes tugged on jerseys to hold linemen to create space and gaps, and that play finished off really, really well. Well-conceived, well-designed, and even better executed. The throw is Brady. It's caught. Shepard. They give him 12 yards and a first down. And this defense, they needed that one more stop to have any chance. But that completion, that's likely going to seal their fate. And you could hear it in your voice. That one more stop. I feel their pain. Oh, it was so important. They just didn't get it done. Wow. What a way to finish this one off. 20. 20. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on the defense and they can add up as the game goes along. They control the clock, they control the ball. And that way, you often control the game. They'll lose a yard and it brings up third. And for everything, Brandon, we're talking about things I'm not sure we ever thought we'd talk about in the NFL. And a lot of that is the speed of the linebacker position. A lot of these guys in college, they were safeties. They moved them up to... All right, nice job. I believe that is challenge met and defeated from where I sit. Congratulations. Good job on this Madden Ultimate Team solo challenge. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, follow me on social media, and once again, thanks for watching.